I've made a nice tool for you guys out there. Do you not find it really annoying in OBS that if your webcam's like, I don't know, unplugged for a second, you plug it back in, it doesn't load straight into OBS. It, like you have to go and press the, the reactivate thing, you know, when you go to your um, little sources down here and you have to then go find where your input is. Maybe your capture card's turned off, look. So got my capture card here, you have to turn it off turn it back on um, and then it works and then you have to do that with maybe with your cam or something or maybe it's crashed and you've got to turn it off turn it back on well now i have created a nice little tool for you guys to make that a little bit easier it does utilize streamer bar at the moment but i will be looking at adding it in the next stream up obs plugin update for you guys to just have it in the obs plugin like you know with all the other tools that i've got in there like refresh audio monitoring and stuff it'll kind of fit into that dock as well uh, but this is the obs video capture device control uh, what it allow you to do is refresh a device so turn it off turn it back on uh, activate so turn it on uh, and also deactivate and and turn it off and that basically will go on every single video capture device which is really really handy at just a single press of the button super easy to install you obviously need to have a streamer bar the latest version which is 0.2.8 it does also work for the alpha, but not released at the moment. So just watch this space for that. Um, so you just have to just bear with, okay? Because the alpha is amazing. Just, yeah, you guys get it. Um, you can actually just download the stream up library, which is the first thing you'll need to do. So if you just click this link, uh, apparently there's a problem with this site. There isn't. I've just probably put the wrong link on it. This is, this is the link just here. Um, further down the page, you'll get a installing products into Streamerbot, and you just need to download the StreamUp library update just there. And all the instructions on what to do with it are just here. So just follow these four steps, and that will get that installed for you nice and easy, and you know it's working. When you are installing it, you will need to make sure that Streamerbot is closed otherwise it will not work okay so next up we'll need to go to the download here so we need to import this code into streamerbot so if you just double click it or triple click it sorry or press all the buttons i swear there used to be a copy button but apparently not so we're just going to copy this entire string there's a big big old string look um, but yeah, just triple clicking it will uh, select them all anyway. And then what we can do is paste that into the import in Streamerbot just here, like that, and it'll create three new actions. The activate, deactivate, that sounded like I said deactivate twice, and refresh just here. So you press import. These will appear under stream up tools. So if you open that up, you've got all three of them just here. Uh, and to get them to, to work, all you need to do is just right click and press test. That's it. You can set it up to whatever trigger you want. So if you want to set it up as a hotkey, for instance, you can totally do that or or anything like that. If you've used StreamUp before, you'll know how to do it as well. Um, and you can also set it up to a Stream Deck button as well. So if I press the, the refresh one, um, that'll turn off all of the uh, sources and then turn them all back on. So not just the visibility, but it's physically pressing the deactivate button and activate. So if I press deactivate, it'll take a couple of seconds because it's going to go through my entire OBS, find all the video capture devices, and then turn them all off. So in a second, I should just disappear <laughs> because it does take a little while for it to actually run through all the different stuff. I've just thought that I won't disappear because this is connected to the dev obs which is a different obs <laughs> but you get the point it's a really handy tool for you to just kind of speed up that process of having all, all that kind of stuff um that's that annoys you about obs but like i say i will try and add it to the stream up obs plugin which if you guys aren't using the stream up obs plugin is super insane uh like locking all your sources unlocking all your sources refresh audio monitoring refresh browser sources and that's a free plugin that, that i created uh with some help from exceldro and and other people like that as well it's a really cool plugin so just make sure you are using that i recorded this live at twitch.tv forward slash andy lippy we are trying to get partner but we're obviously a while away so if you've got any questions come and visit me and i don't mind answering okay uh if you do enjoy the product as well please consider leaving a cheeky dono uh the link's just below just press the leave a tip button and don't put don't eat yellow snow, please. Thanks. Much love. I'll see you in the next one. Put your rock over the stone.